This is Carl Baumheckel and today I'm going to be demonstrating my hybrid launch control system. So first we have our power source which is a, a jump starter battery. I got this one from Costco. You can get them from any hardware store. Um, and I, I have a, a cigarette lighter plug that plugs into that. That powers the system. The system is connected to the uh, LCO box remote. Uh, with a network cable. Here's 500 feet of network cable on a spool. And I also have this vent sensor. The vent sensor hooks up to the vent. When hooking up your vent, you must be sure to push the vent tube all the way past. You put in the clip through the tube, through the hole, and push it all the way up against this um, thermistor and that's what the senses the vent. Now when hooking up your vent sensor make sure that you stake down or somehow tie down the um, the line otherwise it might fly up with your rocket. So what I and one idea is if you don't have anything you can wrap it around the, um, the, uh, the bottom of your launch tower or simply put it underneath the cable here before plugging it in. Okay now we plug that in uh, also, this is uh, your igniter leads. Plug them into the igniter lead one. Plug your uh, solenoid header into the NTO, the nitrous oxide plug right here. By the way, if you uh, are building your own or have someone else's uh, header, you're going to need to uh, make sure it's a three wire system and that the white lead or the lead that goes into this left hand side is the common lead so one lead goes to both uh, both solenoids and the upper right one which is the black lead goes to the main um, solenoid and the ground lead the green one goes to the uh, dump solenoid okay so once you have it plugged in, I recommend testing everything at the pad. So making sure your your uh, solenoids are flowing, make sure the vent's flowing, because sometimes you don't have the vent shoved into the motor right or whatever, so you want to make sure your vent's flowing and make sure that this is hooked up to the vent line. Here's a piece of vent line that I have to demonstrate. See, I have it pushed all the way up against it and that will make sure that I think it's good and cold when the liquid comes out. So, let's turn it on. First thing we do is we turn on the power switch. Okay, now there's a little light on the power switch letting you know you have power. Also, I have this convenient continuity switch so you can test continuity. Tone tells you that there is continuity. Okay, now once you've done that, you pull your lead out, you bring it over to the LCO table, you plug it into the remote, and you'll notice that there's another continuity on the uh, light on the remote. So as long as you have continuity and it's plugged in, that's going to be lit up. So next thing you'll do is arm the system. That's going to give off a tone, letting you know that the system is armed. Then you begin filling by pushing this button. Now it's filling. You might get a little green light. Now that light up there, the LED that's labeled vent, is going to start beeping once the vent's full. So allow the the uh, system time to fill. Once it's full, this is what it's going to sound like. I can simulate it by unplugging the vent cord. Okay, so the light's going to light, plus you're going to get the blinking tone. This one won't, that other tone won't be going if you're pushing on the vent. Okay, it's going to sound just like that. Okay. Now, once you do that, you, I recommend doing a three-second down count because once it's full, you're just venting nitrous oxide in the atmosphere. You go ahead and push the launch button. Okay. And in case of emergency, you have the dump switch. And that's all there is to it.